remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The U.S. Supreme Court on Wednesday formally dismissed the case in which Lee Malvo, who was 17 when he took part in the deadly 2002 D.C. sniper shooting spree in the Washington area, was challenging his life without parole sentence. The move comes after a new law was passed in Virginia where Malvo is incarcerated in a supermax state prison. The measure signed into law on Monday lets people sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for offenses committed before the age of 18, as Malvo was, to seek release after 20 years. Lawyers on both sides asked the Supreme Court to dismiss the case. Malvo, now 35, also received a life sentence in prison without the possibility of parole in Maryland, which is not affected by the Virginia law. Malvo and an older accomplice, John Allen Muhammad, were convicted in the shooting in which 10 people were killed. Muhammad was sentenced to death and executed in a Virginia state prison in 2009 at the age of 48. Virginia had appealed after a lower court ruled that Malvo should be resentenced in light of Supreme Court precedent that mandatory life sentences without parole for juvenile offenders violate the U.S. Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. The Supreme Court on October 16 heard arguments in the case. The shooting occurred over three weeks in Washington, Maryland, and Virginia, causing panic in the U.S. Capitol region. Malvo received four life sentences in Virginia, where he was found guilty of two murders and later entered a separate guilty plea to avoid the death penalty. What I'm trying to figure out is, because of the new law not affecting Maryland, does that mean they're going to extradite Malvo to Maryland to serve out the rest of his life without parole sentence there since that case in Maryland is not affected by the Virginia law? Hmm. They didn't make that clear in the article that I read. Now, who remembers that case? I remember it vividly like most of America and perhaps the whole world, I thought the perpetrators were white guys. White guys, I'm not picking on you, but let's face it, let's be honest. You also thought it was a white guy. You got some fool, some nut, driving around state to state, randomly shooting people. Black people don't do that. Latino people don't do that. Asians don't do that. White dudes do that. Boy, I wanted to strangle those fools myself when I found out they were black. That was a horrible time, man. It's going to happen again, too. In fact, it's already happened. Uh, I don't think it's it just hasn't happened in a concentrated area like it did back in 2002. But there have been cases of people being shot, being killed uh, from sniper fire. This has happened. Since then, it's just not as concentrated. We got a lot of nuts riding around the streets of America. This dude, Muhammad, John Muhammad, he had to be one of the biggest suckers that God ever created. I, don't even, I can't even give God that type of credit. That got to be the devil. This dude was the devil personified. What a sucker. This fool was riding around randomly shooting people to throw the scent off from the investigators because what he really was after was his ex-wife. He was trying to get to his ex-wife. He, he was 
His whole mission was to kill his ex-wife. So he ran his Dumbass plan was to randomly just kill people, just take people's lives. Innocent people just killing innocent people who ain't got nothing to do with he and his sorry ass emotions. These people had nothing to do with the way this woman treated him or the way he treated the woman. Nothing. Had nothing to do with it. So he just randomly killed these people to throw the police off because his mission was to kill his wife. And he never got a chance to get to the ex-wife because they caught him and the kid sleeping at a rest stop. The police got a call on a suspicious vehicle. They swooped in and these fools were sitting in the car asleep. And the police draw down on them, get out. So John Muhammad was riding around in the car and he had... Uh, Lee Malvo in the trunk of the car, they had cut out the uh, the keyhole and they were pointing the gun through the keyhole and that's how they were sniping people and it was hard to find out where these guys were. A lot of people thought it was, you know, people were having sightings of a white van and they didn't know what to look for and it took them a while to catch up with these dudes. But this fool, and then he used this kid he ruined this kid's life at 17 years old. I mean, think how impressionable you were at 17 years old. I know you probably wasn't riding around killing people, but 17 years old is a very impressionable age. And you have somebody like John Muhammad, who was very educated, who was manipulative. Somebody, this kid, that took this kid in and this kid considered to be a father figure. So he wanted his approval. So he's out there, you know, John Muhammad could have told him, man, uh, I need you to jump off a cliff. He probably would have jumped off a cliff to impress him. In fact, you can liken him going out here killing these people as jumping off a cliff because he totally ruined his life. I say it all the time. Being young is no excuse for ignorance. Lee Malvo, man, it's tough that you had to go through this, little buddy. This is America. More importantly, this is life. And you reap what you sow. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?